So what happens when you put iron dust through an engine on purpose? If you haven't watched the video where we actually did that and we tested the, we'll call it the efficiency exactly, of yeah. some oil filters, you should go back and watch it. If you've already watched it and you want to see the carnage, you're in the right place at the right time. We're about to show you the aftermath. It was five grams of iron powder. Iron powder, in Mag Magnaflux powder. In five quarts of oil. Yeah, we were very scared about it. Now, a lot of you guys have seen blown up engines before. Woo! Engine blows up really good. There'll be a lot of metal inside the pan. There'll be metal scattered everywhere, big chunks, little chunks. Well, we did that on purpose here. <laughs> we actually, we didn't have very, any big chunks, they were all small, but we ran that solution through this engine for quite a long time. Yeah, we actually ran two different filters and we ran an hour each, making power runs throughout the hour and we measured what was going on. And right. We went to the filter that was less efficient, didn't remove as much material, uh, the powder from the oil. We actually saw a decline in power over that time. And one of the reasons we knew that was we were actually testing some coatings on piston rings and we wanted to see how it hold up. The interesting thing is, so the second ring in your three ring piston ring setup is actually a ductile iron ring. This is a Napier style, it's got a little hook on it. Yeah. It actually wore the hook off. It was gone. It yeah, was it was gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, it was like, there should be a little fine edge at the bottom of it. When you take a piece of sandpaper and go like this someplace, that's kind of what happened to the ring. Yeah, the hook was gone. The step is still there, but the hook is basically gone. And, and because of that and what it did to the coating on the top ring, we, we did lose some power. We, we kind of knew that was going to happen, but we didn't blow it up and we didn't know whether that was going to happen or not. Yeah, that was kind of iffy. Obviously, one of the main things you're worried about when you get a lot of contamination in the oil, or inside the engine for that matter, is the bearings. What was really interesting, Don, is that we didn't really do this on purpose. Out of necessity, we put in some uncoated bearings along with coated bearings when we put it together. And there is a giant difference between how those two bearings wore with the same dirty environment. I mean, both of them have wear. It's quite dramatic how much better the coated bearing. You know, I, I think part of the reason for that is the coating that they put on there is a little bit softer. So what was happening there is the iron particles that were actually going bypass the filter mm -hmm. and actually into the oil galleys yeah. were getting going all the way through to that bearing. They were doing their job. They were getting stuck in the bearing instead of get being ground uh, grinding the crankshaft. Now, if you look at the crank, <laughs> Yeah, yes, you read yes. my mind. If you look at the crank, which we, we'll show you some pictures of later, yeah. there's there are signs of the iron dust traveling around that the surfaces of the crankshaft. Yeah, those little pockets where it was holding it. Yeah, yeah they they did a little. I wouldn't call it polishing. They did some grinding yeah. on the crankshaft. I mean, it's not. It looks way worse than it is. Yeah. We'll, we'll be able to salvage the crankshaft, but still, there there was a noticeable difference in the wear pattern after we put that iron dust in the book. The other interesting thing is we saw with the block, you know, just looking at the cylinders, you can still see the cross hatch in there. Yes. And yes. we were like, oh, this isn't as bad as we thought until we put the profilometer in yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we measured it and we we're like, oh, there's still some valley there. There's still a cross hatch, but the tops are just smooth. Yeah, the, the RPK is virtually gone. Uh, yes, they're virtually gone. Zero. Yeah. Yeah. They're, obviously the VK is, is still doing very good. The valleys are still there. You can still see them great, but it's, it pretty much shined that surface right off. Oh yeah, and look at the very bottom of the cylinder, below rain travel, that's where it became obvious that, oh, these two things are not the same. Yeah. And you can see all the vertical streaks where that iron powder was in the rings and moving very up and down. Very minute streaks. Yeah. Obviously the powder, the dust is very, very small, small yeah. but you can actually see. It. If yeah. you can see it, well then yeah, the, the cylinder the, saw it too. The cylinders, the bearings, the camshaft, Camshaft, you know what? It held up. We can't use it again, obviously. No. Cam and lifters, solid cam and lifters, hydraulic yeah. solid cam and lifters, but it did hold up. It, hold, it held up better than we thought. And again, maybe that's you know partly because of the oil that we used too. Yeah, it was good oil and then good level of ZDP. So we didn't have any catastrophic failures. You did say we rebuilt the oil pump. We need to get all the oil out of everything. Yeah. Getting the engine cleaned up to freshen it up to go do more ring code testing. Mm -hmm. So, because we do cool things, you should hit subscribe button right now because if you think this is interesting, you should hang around because there's more really cool stuff coming really soon. 
but we had to rebuild the pump and that was interesting things you learned there. Well, you know, oil that goes through that pump is not filtered, it's unfiltered. So all the dust that went into that engine went into that oil pump first. Yeah. Did it score the pump up? Well, you know, very fine minute scores. The biggest issue was the oil pump bypass. Yeah. Um, the oil pump bypass wasn't stuck, but it was really tough in there. We had to take that all apart, polish everything, put it back together. We brought the oil pump back to life. This just made me think of something. I wonder if that increase in oil pressure we saw with that last filter, if part of that isn't from the fact that the bypass was maybe stuck? Would that, know, did, it, it, did that have done anything? I, I think more of the fact the pressure difference was a flow yeah. thing. We had a little bit more flow through the steel mesh filter than we had the paper mesh filter, and it was worth a couple of PSI on, on pressure. Yeah. So the good news is the engine's capable of being rebuilt and refreshing up. That's we're what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it right now. We've been working all day, getting all the parts cleaned up. That crank needs to get polished up, and then we're going to put it all back together, and we'll come back with another video. But, you know, the one thing that really got me in the cleaning up today is that you know, we, we put in this iron powder, mm -hmm. and it's kind of reddish when you put it in. <laughs> Where'd when you I find was, that at? So when I was done at the solvent tank today, washing all the parts, <laughs> guess is at the bottom of the solvent tank. <laughs> well, iron does fall to the bottom when, when you put it in a liquid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a big red blob <laughs> at the bottom of the solvent tank. And, so. and that just was the stuff that actually either gone through the bearings already or was about to. Well, like we knew, that yeah. filter didn't remove yeah, it did remove everything. No, and we which, saw which that we know, today. Which we, know, we saw we, it on the dyno. Yeah. We saw it on the oil analysis, and yeah. then I saw it today on the solvent tank. So. <laughs> yeah. It was scary just to see it again, what happened post-run, you know? The amount of it is what yeah. kind of got me, because I, mean, I mixed it right back there into yeah. the oil, and that was kind of a weird feeling mixing it in on purpose. It, it hurt it, me it, watching. It hurt my heart. I do such a good job of trying to keep the oil clean and right. you messed it all. I made it dirty <laughs> on purpose. That was really like against my soul to do that. <laughs> exactly. And then today I had that flashback of, wow, there was a lot in there. Yeah. No wonder it did what and it did. And we didn't blow it up. We didn't blow it up. Now so. you can see it on the, like on the face of the rings. I mean, you can see it. We talked about the, the mm -hmm. second ring, the, the top ring, which is the barrel face. You can actually see it. If you look close enough, you can actually see what was going on. And that's one of the reasons why we lost a little power because it, it started, uh, we started to lose some compression gases. That's right. Hey, that's why we do this stuff. So we learn and you learn. So if you want to keep learning, you better stay tuned.